Right here, brethren and sisterin. <laughs> uh, right, I've been hearing a lot of people saying we're all we're all one love, we're all one. And it's only half true. As I've said before, um, recently I have discovered this symbiotic relationship we're in. So a long time ago, uh, 2007 I think, I wasn't sort of getting anywhere with God. And I looked up at the stars and something told me we're all one. You're a drop of the ocean. You're, you're in this life and then when you die, you're the drip, you go back into the ocean. And I believed that until summer 2014 or maybe a bit before I was beginning to sort of get this notion of um, there being a God, a creator, you know. And I have to admit, yeah, it was listening to a video from AJ Miller that just seeing somebody else have that sort of conviction made things click for me and then if you like it's been a journey and I'm and I'm understanding it so we got the the religious community generally believe in a personal God but some of them think that he walked on the earth and died on a cross you know like it's just not the case uh, it's, and it's everywhere, you know, in every religious teaching. I mean, Yeshua himself was channeling the one love, but talked about the Father. And so, as I say, I've discovered recently, you can look at a video of mine recently, I'm pretty sure I called it something like a symbiotic relationship with love. <laughs> hey, uh, sorry. Um, but I've made some videos recently on it. Right, so I thought of a good analogy to explain this. And I said, like, we're a container and love is within us. So, um, you know, it's a symbiotic relationship. We both need each other. I mean, love is source. Love created. Love is the infinite thing and love love sort of instigated everything so but i i put it the love found a way to make it awesome and it wouldn't be awesome if we only had a hundred year life and that was it this hundred year life is preparing us for an eternal life eternal yes okay but we're never going to stop learning, so we can't even begin to fathom what our lives might be like in a few thousand years, let alone a million years or a billion years, okay? Well, maybe we can fathom what it might be like in a few thousand years, but anyway. So, here's the analogy. <laughs> Sorry, I really... <laughs> I so nearly didn't make this video because I couldn't find a bigger balloon. <laughs> I thought about using a condom, but I don't want to get my lips around that. And hopefully this will work. So here we have a container on its own, flat, nothing much, right? And in this analogy, um, my Blowing is going to be the one love. So one love. There it goes. Now one love in a container. <laughs> Hard work. Now we've got something. Now we've got something. Yay! Fun. 
Oh, I like that. So that's the analogy, boys and girls, is that a symbiotic relationship with the one love and an entity like yourself or me or our creator, mother, father, God, makes something. And this thing can keep growing forever. And obviously this balloon can't, so the analogy only goes so far. But how about this? Now, you saw the amount of force I had to use to get the air into the balloon because this balloon's never been blown up before. <laughs> right? <laughs> Good, eh? And until I've tied a knot in the end, the balloon can just fart that love back out into anywhere which way possible. The next time you get some love coming in, and love really should be coming within the balloon. And you can, you know, you can get external love coming in. Mother and Father God can give you some of their love, right? Because as I'll show you in a minute, once you, that was much easier to blow up that time as well. And once you learn to direct your love, you can play music. You know, you could direct it in certain ways. And obviously our Mother, Father, Creator is an absolute genius with it, right? And the more we learn, the more we'll be able to play music and stuff. <laughs> or learn to direct our love. Now obviously the balloon doesn't deflate every time, and I don't think tying the knot in it is any particular um, analogy there and also this is a bit lacking because this isn't male or female now our soul would be male or female and as I've discovered again quite recently but just kind of knew it before but just really it's becoming more and more real uh, as I sort of experience things in the heart, is that, um, you know, the yin and yang symbol, and there's a dot, you know, the shape of it, and then there's a, a dot in each one. So you've got a, a black sort of that shape with a white dot, and a white sort of that shape with a black dot, right? So, so, so that is actually a part of your soulmate, is in you. And I, I feel that there's, a, there's this area, it's sort of, uh, sort of towards the, in the sense I feel towards the top end of the heart, sort of here, and, and it's, it's a bit of her. And therefore I know there's a bit of me in her. And now that helps make a connection. So, it's not a full analogy, but I thought it was pretty good. So uh, think about that, um, eternal beings. It's good stuff. Okay, ciao, bye.